All right, rain code. Let's do this, gamers. It's raining in rain code. I know. Do you guys know what the main villain of this game is? The rain god. Let's go. I can't remember anything. Oh, no. Memory loss. This is how you start off every detective game. Yuma Coco Head. Coco. You are here by... That name sounds ridiculous. Yuma Coco Head? That's my name. Why would you assume that's your name? I finally remember. My name is Yuma. Mm, I'm uh, no. Yuma Coco Head. <laughs> if, am I a detective? <laughs> no. Based on how you're acting, I I'm gonna guess, guess no. Guys... I'm sorry. <laughs> Yuma Tarasu Express will now depart. <sighs> he ran up like a few steps and he's dying. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I. And Zilch Alexander. I'm getting mad um, Biakio um, vibes from this guy. It? You just oh. pushed it on the ground, basically. <laughs> oh my god. Classic. I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. When your murder goes unsolved because this woman thinks you're triplets. It's obvious what's going on. There's an imposter among us. No, he said it. Who could the uninvited sixth guest be? It's me. Just kill me. End the game. I don't, it's fine. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm going to tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay, that's the second time he says that. Excuse me. I'm just huge. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. I have a feeling this is going to be a thing, isn't it? Who is the most suspicious person here? It's definitely not Zilch. Dude, if they're making Zilch like a Byakuya 2.0, I trust this man with my life. <laughs> I'll make it. I'm going to be just fine. <gasps> That's extremely creepy. Okay. What did you just say? A death god? Call me Shinigami. Oh, just actually just Shinigami. <laughs> They're very straightforward with these names. S smoke? What's going on? Oh, I saw was Why are we just standing here talking in a smoky room? Run? <gasps> Wait, no, 2.0. Wait, there's no blood on that. Wait, what? Master, look! <gasps> the fire extinguisher was already out, though. That's so weird. He's not dead. He had plot armor. I say this and I laugh because I have visions of my Danganronpa 3 playthrough. Rantaro, you definitely have plot armor. Like, without a doubt, you are never dying. Wait! No, you can't die first! He can't be the first to die. He had plot armor. I think I'm seeing a trend with the writing. This is the infirmary's medical equipment. Maybe I can use it to save Zilch. Hey. Bro, you think you can save that? What? Maybe I hit my head so hard in the bathroom that my power is to see the future. Everybody is actually fine, by the way. No way. There can't be a fifth corpse. Because that would mean... Everyone except me is dead. Damn, that's a nice so setup, though. Why is this happening to me? Because your last name is Coco Head. What do you think of my awesome powers? This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. What? If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. Uh, just a PSA. <laughs> this doesn't work in real life. <laughs> culprit then burned everyone to death. Then they deliberately left a fire extinguisher near the restroom I was sleeping in. This was done to prompt me into smashing the door later. That was way too so obvious. So I actually so wish that wasn't body. a thing. <laughs> and the evil doer who committed these countless contemptible crimes is none other than... Alexander, it was you. I still trust him. We can fix him, guys. Don't worry about it. What? He's dead. As a price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. Wait, so we solved the case, but Zilch 
dies? That's right. The true culprit dies. Wait, that that's horrible. So it's all good. Let's stop all the fighting. Oh, ooh, hi. We both have to follow orders from the higher up, so uh, let's not do anything that causes unnecessary tension. Hello. It's fine, <laughs> evidence. Hi. I'm Yako Furio. Yako. I'm gonna remember him. It's raining. Hey, you're right. Hey! Rain code. Like, if the rain was Morse code. If this city is cut off from the outside world, there's no communication. So they use the rain to communicate. <laughs> Figured it all out. I don't know what the WDO is thinking, but... I don't want this town to change. That sounds oh, like kind of guy that's that okay with settling for less, of... though. We can only offer a handkerchief to those in tears if we're quietly slipping away. We're just detectives. Just detectives, he says. But he has the resigned smile of someone who's given up. Yeah, so I just said. This guy is equally it's fascinating and very place. frustrating. I've met you for two minutes, and I can already tell that you are a very intelligent person that has the ability to change things in life. But you're settling for something not so good. But you know what? I can fix him. The one sitting over there is Halara Nightmare, a great master detective. Nightmare is a little bit daunting. There? I prefer to be alone. A place like this gives me a sense of peace and quiet. Me and this guy, we're gonna get along great. I wanna die someday. Never mind! Move swiftly to investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Doing so will assist us in solving the great global mystery. I love how cryptic is this is. The screen is super colorful. I wonder what show it is. Oh my god, this kid. Oh my god, what are you doing underneath of the piano, bro? Vivia? Are you okay, sweetie? What are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> I'm reading a book. I can see that. Sorry I asked a dumb question. Everyone looks totally rich. Crazy different from the poors we saw back there. I hate poor people. All the poors have deranged personalities. Oh. Hey, leave your dad to me. He'll be fine. I hope. He probably will be. Definitely, yeah. Love the confidence, sweetie. Thank you. Please save my dad. I'll help your dad, little baby Rantaro. I've set the stage for you to solve the case. The time has come for you to risk it all as a detective. Damn. Expose the true culprit. That's hot. What's this? Wait, why is Halara evolved There's in this? Time. Master, you used your coalescence, remember? Your ability isn't a one-way street. You have the power to borrow someone's abilities, and you share yours as well. Oh. And Halara just watched that. Her name is Shinigami. I think the simplest way to describe her is... That's me! On to my next question. You're just gonna ignore me? I just want to solve the case. That was a lot. Uh, Too much preposition. Do you have what? Sorry. All right. Should I now, use a different hole? Okay, no. This. Please, I just want to solve the case. <sighs> Only someone with a slender build could have used the nails as footing or escaped from the vent. Did you see that ass though? If someone has a big ass like that, I don't know if they can get through the vent. To be honest, when I first met you, I thought you were rather <laughs> pitiful. I mean, Polar is not wrong. The priest! You're the nail man! And the copycat is someone who knows that all of the victims were strangled to death. Oh, oh, we're not done, we're not done. The worshiper! You're the copycat criminal! Two people dying tonight. Damn. That's rough, buddy. Indeed it is, Zuko. Did you kill them with some kind of poison? Hey, hold on. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, everyone! Ah, he came back to life! Sorry about that! You see, I'm actually the man. What? These are my final words, so I can't lie. <laughs> Search the church for the tools used in each crime. I'm sure you'll find plenty of evidence. If you think I'm lying, go ahead and check it out. Thanks! That was the best thing that Shinigami ever did. No, what are you doing here? What happened to him? You dare speak so carelessly? 
Who do you think I am? The hero who defends peace and order in Palm Island. Director of the Amaterasu Peacekeepers. The Honorable Yomi Hellsmile. Hellsmile is right. Yeah, that smile looks like straight out of hell. Well, we got some very talented master detectives gathered here. I'm sure it'll be fine. I want to go on a case with yeah. Yako, but I probably oh, have to wait till the end of the game for that. Seeing that the chief's raincoat isn't here, he must have gone out. Considering that the refrigerator is empty, he most likely went out to get breakfast. That's correct, Alora. Chief Yako said he's grabbing breakfast before everyone got together. You could have said that before. He asked me to tell everyone. Which is why I just did. Okay. You're on the rookie side? He's a trainee who doesn't even have a detective deed. Right, Vivia? Huh? Oh, there's no need to worry. I ate breakfast before coming over here. <laughs> Please find out the truth about Aiko's death. If you do, I'll give you all the information I have. You're really gonna accept this request? It sounds like a waste of time to me. You're a waste of my goddamn time. I, I think, though, to this game's credit, it is really hard to play this game right after playing both Final Fantasy 16 and Ghost Trick. So I think a lot of my frustration comes down to like, I just played two top tier games where the dialogue was masterful. I am trying to be as patient as I can, but I think the reason that my patience is thin is because I just played those games. Yuma, you're so cute. Thank you. Now we'll just look like friends when we're together. Uh, we did, we yeah. looked like friends before. Why do they gotta make it weird? One of the popular plays performed by Etheria's Theater Club. The culprit is not among us. What? 15 men and women are trapped. Did you see that description? Wow. Nice one. That's Yoshiko below the stage. She's an actress, but she's managing the stagehands as production assistant this time. Aiko used to be the club's leader. After she died, Yoshiko picked up right where she left off. I believe she's the only one who could ever take over Aiko's role. But would she resort to murder to change that? Teenagers, am I right? However, after Aiko passed away, they started fighting for the main role. I don't trust- I already forgot names, the, the group leader girl. She's so kind and sweet. Yeah, okay. The type that would also murder! Hello, everyone! Thank you for coming by after school when everything's so busy. Does he go? Oh what boy. What's he doing? Ugh, he's so dumb. I actually like the look that Yuma gave Shinigami there. Like he was also done with her shit. <laughs> That's really good acting, guys. Stay calm, Kurumi. That wasn't an act. Wait smile, a right? goddamn minute! Yako never got his breakfast. Karin got to be the main lead ever since Aiko died. After all, Yoshiko resented her, which led to today. They say this so casually, like reasoning. it's a normal thing if you hate somebody um, so much so just to murder them. Why do I have a feeling like every oh, single no. one of them tried Please to murder someone in a today. different way and only one I'm of them so succeeded kind die. of thing? Like they were all trying. Oh, this is the longest I've ever stayed in a disguise. Sorry for Jeez. making you go through so much. I don't worry about it, man. I got to lean on a girl's shoulder. I got Ooh. plenty of good sniffs in. Oh boy! The more he talks, the less likable he gets. Oh so, my god, I can go. say the same about Any you? That's crazy! If only there was a brave, strong boy around, I would swap my master for him in a heartbeat. Huh? You could. Alright, All right, so about the case. Some people actually think this dialogue is funny, good for them. I hope that people like the dialogue. Like, obviously, it's not for me, but I will never shame anyone else for liking it. What was the glass put in to be transported? A pouch or the pocket of a school uniform? What? You can't put a glass into a pocket of a school uniform. I, I didn't. You think crying will save you? Well. You're right. You're oh my god. god. This, this guy's supposed to be a detective. I've seen like no qualities of him being a detective this whole time. So the girls collectively, all three of them knew that Karin killed Aiko and they all of them were like, you killed our best friend. We're going to kill you. Like that's some super fucked up shit. So in the first case, we kill one person. In the second case, two people die. So that means in this third case, we're killing three, all three of these girls. A pen? carry that around with you all the time? See? 
If you look at it this way, doesn't it all seem like the same road? Not bad. You finally made yourself useful. Okay, I gotta call out the game's bullshit again. I feel like they had to give Desuhiko something to make him stand out as a detective outside of his disguise thing, so they threw in this in the writing. They may have pretended to always be at odds with one another, but deep down, they were bonded through their shared admiration for Aiko. They really got to make it more depressing. Also, <laughs> where's Shinigami? Uh, right here. Did you fall in love with me? I know you did. You must have, yeah? They really know how to ruin a moment. So, Kurumi, what do you know about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? Here we go. Grandpa risked his life to obtain one piece of confidential information about Amaterasu Corp. Research to create a homunculus, an immortal monster. Oh. That escalated. Just what the hell is going on here? It's like the hand of death itself. Oh, shit. You know what they say. The greater the detective, the more often they encounter death. Isn't that right, Yuma? What the YouTube? Oh, that's not good. See, this is what I'm talking about. What's going on? The agency is sinking um we're dead kanai ward will continue to decay more innocent civilians will fall victim to them that's why i want to stop the peacekeepers on this reckless path of theirs i do so as a citizen who loves kanai ward i need the help of people like you hold it right there master you're gonna agree just like that yeah think about it for a sec no thinking i go off instinct my instinct tells me that i would love to work with this guy you Know about number one huh don't you if you get the chance to talk to him please ask him to come visit soon tell him his son is in trouble that's me anyway hmm so that's my hmm. is that it i thought there would be more emotion involved do you just not feel anything are you a robot so is this a situation of like Yuma's father is Makoto Kagatsuchi, whose father is number one? We're just like one big happy family. It all makes sense. I have it all figured out. Uh, who? Who? Well, I guess I'm kidnapped now. I want to recruit him to our resistance. I didn't sign up for this. I liked where the plot was going, but then I feel like I just got shoehorned into something that is completely random. I don't know about the flow of this game. How about it, Yuma? Will you stand with us and help free Kanai Ward from Amaterasu's oppression? No, I would love to walk out the door and never see any of your goddamn faces again. Wait, that can't be coincidence. Wait, what? How do you have the same weight and height? Exactly. Ain't no shot that that is coincidence. Is that why his face is covered? Because it's me? Bro, I'm a monkey liar. That's it. I'm calling it. Can you go inside the booth and set up the camera underneath the phone stand? What if I'm not really setting up a camera? I'm just setting up a bunch of bombs. Why am I trusting these people? Huh? Five minutes until detonation? What is this? Detonation circuit severed. Oh, wonderful. It's disarmed. Congratulations, Yuma. You have graduated from being a terrorist. Thank you, Fabuki. I know I have made the same mistake in the past. Did everyone in the city leave their water running? Oh my god. <laughs> Fubuki, I think she was serious. From what I can tell, there aren't any tears. You know, I have to give props to Yuma, though. He does ignore the bullshit dialogue like a lot like the game calls itself out Tunnel dude persona freed himself no retreated yuma you defeated those monkeys as a sign of my respect really? i'm a warrior of what? light i'll take it i see that is unusual you really are the holy great detective warrior of light yuma. holy great detective warrior of light Woo! Ooh, our title just keeps on getting upgraded. Good luck, Yuma. I, for you are the elite bomb diffuser, he who tames the god of darkness. 
Holy great detective warrior of light, Yuma. Okay, I can no longer remember that title. When I first yeah, this saw case one. is largely pointless. The dialogue, the script tried to give me a purpose with Chachi, but as soon as he died, really? like, why do I care? Let's avenge Chachi. Let's figure out how he died. But I truly do not give a f YouTube about this guy I that I met for five cool minutes in comparison to all the time Just I spent with Yako and the gang, more. who I care way more to find where they are. What? That's... <gasps> oh, shit! Hey, there's the gang. There we go. The peacekeeper lady's still staring at me. Maybe she's in the... Don't pot. immediately ruin Don't the goddamn know, but... moment. Jesus Christ. This game! Ah, oh, there's a spider! Ah! Damn it! No! That was more thrilling than the entire third case. You're not wrong. Even if you deny it yourself, I believe you are in the right. That's why I hope you'll always be a detective. I don't know. To me, that's not exactly comforting. I don't want somebody just telling me that I'm right. Someone if anything, that just made right. me put her on the number one <sighs> sus list. I like this guy. <laughs> I hope I see you soon. Hand over that terrorist immediately. Otherwise, you will all receive the death penalty. You know, I think right, I should just go to jail because uh, the masked man will just come and save me. If I turn myself in, at least everyone else will be spared. Yuma, in that case, I'll go with you. What are you saying? You have nothing to do with this, Chief. Don't be dumb. I'm the chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. And you're one of my detectives. It's only right for me to take responsibility. You would do that? What's going on? Director Yomi! Something is falling from the sky! Oh? <laughs> there we go, now we're talking. You want to know why I'm wearing this mask? I was born a prince in a certain nation. But while still young, I was dragged into a revolution. Bullshit. My family was killed. I was the only one spared. The revolutionaries imprisoned me because they had other plans. Bullshit. I was forced to wear a mask to conceal my face. And now, the mask has become my face. Bullshit. Also, he had an odd face for someone who is supposedly a CEO. No, that was clearly a mask. A mask? Don't ruin the moment. I see. So, that's the cursed book of death. I wonder what else he sees, though. So, it's like, I picked up on that, but what else Very. does he see? I must do something. What are you gonna do with a box cutter? Let's work backwards, starting with Vivia. Interesting guy. I mean, he always was from the start. His forte? He sees maybe like the souls of the dead maybe that's why he can solve cases so fast the question i am the most interested in when it comes to makoto is what do you want why do you want it master detectives came into kanai ward in the first place because of makoto trying to bring them in and then there is the opposition of the peacekeepers who want them out so Makoto wants the city to be uncovered. I have a feeling he's gonna turn out to be a piece of shit. I kind of hope he does. Now I'm still interested in Yako. I didn't expect him to actually be brave. Yako is just like that unfortunate character that's probably the smartest character in this whole game, but doesn't have like a forte to be taken seriously as a master detective. So I'm waiting for him to like step up. The place with that masked guy. Isn't he the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? Whoa! Maybe you'll find the answer if you ask him. Were you thinking of not bringing me with you because it's too dangerous? No, what? I just don't want to bring you with me because you're stuff. too sus. Well, I don't you trust you at all. Personally, I don't know if he can be trusted. I think it's best we don't get involved with him. Whoa, 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 Yuma. I literally trust Makoto more than I do Karumi. Get your shit together. I thought you'd be visiting me right around now. I just planted a melon seedling in the pot. He is just as suspicious as always. <laughs> now this guy's the best. <laughs> You're frowning. What's on your mind? Don't tell me. 
I have an inkling. Go for it. Don't worry. I'm on your side. He's on my side. All right, cool. Got him. He's a good guy. You should go and talk to your friends before then. It might be the last time you see them. <laughs> the last time? Which reminds me, I want you to keep that we're visiting the lab a secret from your friends. I wish to keep things peaceful. We'll go quietly, take a look, then head back. Understand? So many red flags! <laughs> this is great! <laughs> Hi, I'm here. Hi! You want to do a test drive? Uh, uh, no. I don't have a license. What a coincidence. Neither do <laughs> I. I love this guy so much. I have power, mm. numbers, and charisma that far surpass yours in every way. You are in no position to order around the great Yomi. I, I think I am, actually. I'll admit, I have no power, numbers, or charisma. Uh, what? But... What about here? Oh, oh. oh! Holy shit, the roast! Death threat. Dr. Huesca must pay for his sins with his life. My blade shall be his atonement. Sorry, but we'll be the ones to handle this hitman. I like that he uses the term we. It's not my job to catch him. It's yours, detective. Oh. <laughs> there, there. Don't look at me like that. Wait, I'm being used. If you wish to escape what do you know? your fate, say the name of the girl you like. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Tatsuhiko They're undercover. I feel like Vivia has a hand in this. Why did it take four chapters and for this game to get happened. good? I'm so mad. I'll draw their attention to buy some time. In the meantime, you two hurry to that doctor. Whoa, Yako! I might not have a forte, but I do have my detective experience backing me up. Hell yeah! I'm chief of the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Confidence okay. is attractive! Good luck. Who killed the doctor? No, before we even ask about who, how? This is bad. It's the peacekeepers! <laughs> With Yomi, too, Jesus. Yeah, they're already here! <laughs> are you a natural born criminal? Or are you death itself? Visiting us from the other side. It's funny, I just had a thought of like, could Yomi have orchestrated this to try to pin the blame on me? But my next immediate thought is that Yomi is too dumb to set us up like this. There ain't no way he can do that. Leave me here. Just no, 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 no. You can't die. No, 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 you no, 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 you didn't even have a character arc yet. We have no place to run. No place to run? Makoto's gonna save us, don't worry, right? 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 Vivia, will you tell me about your forte? <sighs> oh, just get to the point, we're running out of time! Oh, oh now you say to get point. to the point! Who are you to say that? His forte is spectral projection. He can control his own ethereal self. I suppose I should call it a soul or a ghost. <laughs> he is not confined by the laws of physics. I almost hit the nail on the head with his forte. I was very close. Tell me, Yuma, why do you seek the truth? Ooh! I just want to help others. Are you saying that's wrong? I bet you're the type who's willing to sacrifice yourself for the truth. One day, it will ruin you. You will. Destroy the world for truth's sake. If possible, I'd like to help you. What? Vivia? I warned you, didn't I? Oh my god, you are a roller coaster. You expressed to me your outlook on life and how pessimistic you are. And then you're like, I'll help you because you're my dear friend. And then you're like, oh, by the way, I'm gonna kill you. And what kind of a conversation is this? Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. That voice, Chief Yago? After hearing the Chief's words, I just remembered. There's something I need to do. Really? I'm not sure if I like this dialogue. The beginning of Vivia's conversation was very interesting, but 
Then to call me his friend and then immediately ignore the words that I'm saying, which end up being very similar to what Yako ended up saying to trigger a response in him. The way they went about the writing there was really weird. Sorry about threatening you with the blade earlier. Oh, now I get an apology? I was so scared. I thought you were going to kill me. You weren't serious, were you? Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> so, you were serious? <laughs> I don't want to kill anyone if possible, but yes, I was serious. Good to know. The woman looks like she's wearing a lab coat. Is that's she that's my mom. Here? The man is covered with blood. I can't see his face very well. It's my mom and Makoto. I just realized the name Vivia isn't the verb like viver to live. His name definitely derives from that. That is hilarious. I'm actually upset that I didn't pick up on that earlier. You've been using this ability to solve the other cases up till now, haven't you? This is so much more interesting than yeah. anybody else who's been stuck in this labyrinth so, with me. This is also related to the mysterious deaths of all those culprits. Oh shit. If that's the case, you've killed a lot. Of oh wow, thanks. Why do you want the truth in the first place? To save Yako? Huh? It's easy to say you want the truth. But are you sure you can handle it? The culprit realized their plan would be exposed. If someone in the lab died from toxic gas, so they used the hitman to cover up their own death. Meaning, the hitman wasn't hired to assassinate the doctor. Ugh, that's so cruel. We're literally motivated by solving this case and getting the truth to save his life. Like, I have to be wrong. My brain is still trying to see the larger picture here. Is this a revenge story? Did your wife die? And all? Chief Yako was the only person attacked by the hitman in the lab. In other words, the chief was the hitman's target. That's because the person in the photo is Chief Yako himself. It was given to the hitman so he'd know his target, and the chief tried to conceal it. By sending that note, everyone would believe the doctor's life was in danger, which was necessary for this sequence of events to take place. All the master detectives headed to the secret lab because of that note. Chief Yako had it all planned out from the start. He always was he really intelligent. To... Is this about the woman in the picture? Vivia. You knew the truth behind this case from the very beginning. I had a hunch because of my spectral projection. I knew the chief had been planning something for quite some time. Yuma, do you remember when the chief's soul called out to us? Yeah, the truth is cruel. Never in history has the truth been known to be kind. I should have seen through that because the dialogue was so confusing to me as to why it motivated Vivia to act. I didn't understand Vivia then. It was like, it didn't make any sense why Vivia was so inactive. And then that was the thing that kicked him in the ass. But it's because he knew. So that makes so much more sense. If you must bring down the chief, then I will lend a hand. What the? I won't avert my eyes any longer. I too want to live with my head held high because I too am a detective. I knew Vivia was gonna be a good character, but dang. The anonymous person who gave Chief Yako the floor plan and pushed him to commit murder was you, the director of the Peacekeepers, Yumi Hellsmile. I wish we could kill him, but that's not how this works. Yako Furio was a pain in the ass. The only reason I kept him alive is for this moment. He didn't even realize I was manipulating him into killing the doctor for me. <laughs> how stupid can you be? I have a solution. We just go up to Yomi in real life and we just shoot him. What's the worst that happens? We just go to jail. You know what? If we go to jail, Makoto just saves us. Hope you enjoy the worst nightmare of your life as you die. The only one who will be having nightmares is you. He always saves us. How did you get that? Most of the secret deals you've been making over the years are listed here. <laughs> Looks like someone's been cooking the books. Mark my words, you mess bastard! Yomi Hellsmile will be back! Oh, really? You're all dead. I'll kill every last one of you!
Sorry for causing so much trouble. That should settle things for now. Oh my god, this giga chat. Um, you meant to bring us here to be a decoy from the start? Yeah. It was all just a series of coincidences. You cannot tell me that. It was all just a series of coincidences. Bitch! I have a gift for you, my friend. To express my gratitude. You, he, he got, are we dating? We're dating. Please accept the gift. We're friends, aren't we? We're, We're definitely dating. dating. What's that? It was hidden in the drawer of the chief's desk. It seems like a letter from Anonymous. Oh. Of course, he didn't know Anonymous was Yomi. This letter mentioned the truth behind his wife's death. Four years ago. So this ago. is what instigated him to murder. But that aside, there's one more person I'm curious about. Makoto. You mean Makoto Kagutsuchi? Do you think it was a coincidence he brought me to the lab today? Coincidence? Oh my god, please. Marvel I swear, you're a goddamn idiot if you think that that was a coincidence. Inside. Very well. The great global mystery is... <laughs> he dies. A mass kidnapping case. Oh. Countless people from around the world have been kidnapped and taken to Kanai Ward. The restricted area. They could gather all the kidnapped people there. The CEO is that Makoto guy, right? Does he have something to do with the corpse burials? Makoto? No. Makoto would never do what? that. You are the only ones who can stop it. He's gonna die on camera. Eliminate all miss- There we go. What? I was waiting for something to happen. Huh? What the? Whoa! What I was just this? gonna say, my, my boyfriend, Makoto! I must rewind. No. Oh. It's gas. Uh, Everyone, hold your- Don't worry, guys. I know Makoto would never do anything bad. Why did, why did you fall on your knees? Wait, what? It, nothing touched you. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. How? I thought they all died. Oh my god. Wait, I wonder if all these zombies are the result of Book of Death killing- Wait, Makoto literally put us here because he knows that I'm gonna solve the case and realize that I'm the bad guy. Warning, homunculi are predisposed to eating human flesh in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition and they grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. So those zombies roaming around here, those were homunculi? The immortal monsters Grandpa talked about? Then, Yoshiko and the others back there were just homunculi too? But they looked so real. What exactly are they? I'm still wondering Maybe if I'm the cause dangerous. of the problem here. You will look. I thought they'd be making something horrible. But it's just meat buns. Oh my god, they are meat buns? Now I'm immediately suspicious. All factory manufacturing is fully automatic. Oh no, that so smells like Makoto! No. I wonder what's up ahead. Master, you could be falling for a trap, you know. It's okay because no matter how dangerous of a situation I'm in, I know that Makoto's gonna save me. The homunculi have some sort of flaw. If they have a weakness, we need to know it. The only thing I can think of is the rain. Before you know it, the truth is right in front of you. Have you been enjoying my party? So, it is you after all. Makoto Kagutsuchi! It's you, isn't it? Wow, it took him a really long time to figure that one out. Is that the hitman who killed the chief? Makoto Kagutsuchi introduced me. After completing the job, I was told I knew too much. Guys, don't worry, I can fix Makoto. The Unified Government's research facility successfully created the first homunculus. The secret to their success was the DNA used as the core for their artificial cells. Me. Because I'm the base DNA and used it to create Makoto that, and condition? then gave me the Book of Death to forget it. Also, I'm convinced that this is the plot. It, what is it? That's for Vivia! Do I do it now? It's worth it. Whew, finally finished a bunch of chores. Maybe I should go make some coffee. This is such a tonal shift. <laughs> I know. 
How about you join me, Yuma? Oh. Once you get used to the back pain, it's actually mm. not so bad in here. We got an invite. Damn. No, I think I'll pass. Oh, Yuma, no. <laughs> Ruined opportunity. Wow, the sun comes out instantly. And Makoto just wanted us to do that. Why? To think, even the rain has been artificial this whole time. Well, do you think it's normal There's for it to rain every day? <sighs> so it does tame them. What's going on? What's happening? Whoa! Kurumi too. Okay, this is interesting. Yay! We should turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion. See? He was just here Dude. to save us. Lend me a hand. He's such a nice guy. Do you know the fatal flaw within all defective homunculi? One is an extreme decrease in intelligence when they're resurrected. In other words, they turn into zombies. The other flaw is sunlight. Why build such a major contraption just for some defects? Because he loves defects. the people of Kane Ward. Who are you to say something like that? Looks like I've got you cornered, Yuma. He's not gonna shoot. Or if he does, I'm immortal. Use the power of the Book of Death! Why? The target mystery is the mass of corpses found in the factory refrigerator. Wait, really? He's instigating for a reason. Wait, Makoto knows Even how the Book of Death works. He really wants us to solve this. Come on. Solve Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Expose all of my crimes. It's what? kill or be killed. You're bluffing. You wouldn't bring me all the way here to do that. It was a it was a blank. I knew it. You weren't gonna shoot me. It was a bluff. My God, Yuma, use some you too. brain cells. And that's what the blood tests were for. They created homunculi out of every citizen in town. Even if a few failed, all they needed was one successful specimen. The event Kurumi mentioned, where the city was ruined while everyone slept. All of that was caused when the defective homunculi attacked Kanai Ward. The entire city was destroyed by defective homunculi, and no one's ever said a thing about it. That's the blank week. What is the blank week mystery anyway? What you what just described it. A single night? Their physical abnormalities. It's another part of Kanai Ward's darkness. So yeah, the blood is different between a regular human and a homunculus. And I'm wondering if it's because of that reason, the very first case of the game, all of the bodies were burned instead of seeing blood. It's in plain sight, dude. It's YouTube. in red. Dude, the pink blood was supposed to be a yeah, sensor. Oh, That one's cute. He looks so woo-woo in that mask. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Purple! Having detectives snoop around everywhere was a nuisance. That's why I made them disappear. I can fix them. They're labeled as defective. They must continue to live in a land without sun. You made them that way to protect them. I believe him. There's still one unanswered question. It's about him. You still haven't confirmed his true identity. Oh, that's easy. That's me. And so Makoto used coalescence on me? He has the same power? There we go. We're finally getting That's there. Right. Why are you able to use it? That power belongs to Shinigami. That's where you're mistaken. Coalescence isn't Shinigami's It's my power. forte. Coalescence is the forte of the World Detective Organization's number Finally, one. we're getting there. Take off the mask now. What do you mean? If it's not Shinigami's power, then how can I use it? Oh my god. Yuma just sometimes refuses to use brain cells. Yeah. Oh, that's so creepy. You can put back on the mask. It's okay, sweetie. I've known who you were for a long time. Just put back the mask. With the original gone, I will become the real one. With the WDO under my control, there will be no need for anyone to keep sticking their nose in our business. Oh, right. The mystery of Kanai Ward. Because the WDO was the only secret. thing standing in the way of like keeping Kanai Ward secret, so that means a lot to him wish. because he loves the people of the city. You are dangerous. 
If you're not stopped, <laughs> you will destroy all of Kanai Ward. That's uh, why I must defeat you to protect this city. I think we should just let it's Makoto wrong, do his thing. That's you, me. Wait, I don't know what perspective we're in right now. I just feel weird. Whoa! I created the question that got thrown. This is cool. These pitiful homunculi didn't ask to be made, and neither did I. I mean, that's true. Somebody help me. He's asking for help. That was an open invitation. So we can fix him. Now, choose. Uh, no. Either you reap my soul, destroy the mystery labyrinth, and expose the truth of Kanai War. I get a choice. Or give up and remain here forever. Is this your solution, Master? Are you actually gonna let me? I've decided. Oh, it actually does. Got him. Who will save Kanai Ward in the real world? You will be there for them. I've put a lot of thought into this. I did? When it comes to y the Yeah, yeah, I definitely did. Very well. You can count on me. I'll take care of the rest. Damn, we fixed Fine. him. You guys doubted me the whole time. What? Well, I thought I was getting the bad exit. ending first. Wait, hold on. It's that easy? It'll just cancel our pact. But if that happens, this is truly the best ending. Run to the exit. What will happen to you? Will you return to the book? I can either return to the book of death and sleep for centuries, or vanish with this mystery labyrinth. Oh shit! I actually have no idea. It's the first time anybody's used the emergency exit. But I figured it'd be okay to let you use it, Master. I feel a little bit weird that throughout this whole game, she barely shows that she cares or like has sympathetic qualities whatsoever. But this is the first time that that's actually quite showing. Right at the end though, like, come on. It was rather comfortable in there. I know this may sound like a bad joke, given what you are, but... <sighs> I want to die someday. Please take care, Vivia! Okay, that's pretty funny. In the meantime, I want you to hold on to this book for me. Someday, once I'm finished, I'll come back for it. I feel like that book and letter should have just gone to Makoto.